for generations to come. See, but if you don't know that, you don't trust him for that. God is saying it's time for you to get to know him. Not to know me for how your religion taught me, but to know you for how relationship will teach you. Religion got a cap. Relationship, there's no cap. I'm getting to know God more and more and more and more. Every time I turn around, God is just blessing me more. Because I say I want to know you more. I want to know the cap that you got on me. The cap is this. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding and abundantly and above all. Is there a cap to that? No. It's unlimited. Tell your neighbor, tap into the unlimited resource. Tell your neighbor, unlimited. And you ever went to a place where they give you unlimited stuff? <laughs> Even if you're only going to eat one more salad, just because it's unlimited, you're going to eat more. Am I right, somebody? Yeah. See, that's what God is saying. Don't come to me. Didn't Terry say it today? She said, God is saying, don't come to me and say, give me all this. And just because he done gave out the blessing, God got much more. Yeah. Yeah. When you come to your daddy, even though somebody else may have got there for, before you. God said, I got much more. I got much more healing. I got much more deliverance. I got much more joy. I am unlimited. Say it there, he's unlimited. Y'all need to give him a praise right there. In my trust in him. Ooh, my daughter blessed me this week. She put on Facebook, she said, God told me to pay all my bills first. I said, what's she going with this? She said, now I had to trust God to pay all my bills first. Am I right? She said, I trusted him. So, you know, because you know sometimes we'll pay some of the bills. But whenever God is asking you to do something, He's ready to do something. You know what I'm saying? Whenever God asks me to do something, yeah, he's ready to do something. Ain't that something? Whenever God come to you and he said, Millhouse, I want you to do this. All he's telling you because he wants you to trust you in him. But then when you exchange with him, he gonna give you that nickel. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because we'll say, well, this all I got. He said, that's all you got. But that ain't all I got. Are we, are we, are we in there? See, you count what you got. But he said, count what I got. And you found out today he what? Limit. Limit what? Yes. Which is ain't no limit, right? So they paid all their bills. Went to the grocery store. And you know what? I want to pray for all y'all got to the grocery store. <laughs> that takes supernatural right there. Yes. I'm just gonna be real. Going to the grocery store, if you got some chillers. That's supernatural. Uh, you know, one time, uh, somebody, somebody see my daughter in the grocery store with a car, and they felt sorry for her. They're like, oh, Lord, I ain't never gonna complain again. Because she wanted women that had two cars, and she got that thing to hook up to the third car, and she had one going to the house like that. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. No, she, she had one. They need to catch up for the Walmart commercial. They say, how much did you say? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but she paid all her bills because she trusted God. And the same day she paid all her bills, God gave her all the money back and then some. You see what I'm saying? Because when God is asking you to do something, He's ready to do something.
get to open for you. How many of y'all want to see a flood came over? Yeah. See, that's what religion teach you. They say, oh, you just got to pay your bill. No, somebody else can pay my bills. Yes. Right. All I got to do is obey my God. Yes. And God will pay my bills. Yes. See, when you come trying to pay your bills and pay attention to God more than yes. trying to pay your bills, you see God open a supernatural door to you that you've never seen before. I'm a living witness to it. Last year, the Lord had me give a thousand dollar seed. He said, give a thousand dollars. I got something to do with this thousand dollars. And then the next year, somebody came and blessed me with ten thousand dollars. But if I never let go of my thousand, I could have got my ten thousand. If I never let go of me, I could never get here. I'm just trying to help y'all right now. What did I have to do? What he told me to do. Now, if I had to tell Simon, God said, Simon, like, give it to me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> you sure you hear it right from God? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, listen, you got to know God, Quran, that way, to trust him that way. I know him to be a provider. Because he provided when I didn't have nothing. When I didn't have food in my refrigerator. I went to church with no food and no money and came home. And somebody had bags of groceries sitting on my back step. Then I tell you, he said, I'll never leave you. And I'll never forsake you. The devil will tell you going hungry. Tell him I'm just going on a fast. Go to Hebrews 10, verse 16. Hope we get anything. Oh, yeah. I believe y'all going out fat this time. I believe y'all going out like, oh boy, I'm on a limited today. I don't know what's about to happen for me. But I know I'm preparing myself for expansion. I know I'm preparing myself for the supernatural. I know now, Quran, I can have five loaves and two fishes. And they was in the desert. But when they got finished, they was laying on the grass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all didn't catch that. When they started, they was in the desert. But when they did what God said, they was in the grass. God said, I'm about to make your desert place a grassy place. I'm about to make your hungry place an overflow place. I'm about to take that empty place and make it more than enough place. It's time for a transfer from my natural account to my supernatural account. Hallelujah, somebody. Tell them I'm not living the same no more. Go back and pick up some of your dreams. Go back and go back to school. Go back and do the things God said today already. He said, no, you ain't missed nothing. Now that you got enough faith to go do it, go do what I told you to do. Now that you know faith was all I needed from you, now just don't believe me, but now trust me this time. When you stopped in the middle, trust me to the end this time. Let me show you what the end looked like. Real quick. Woo. Anybody receive that? Anybody receive it? Anybody receive it? Receive your blessing. Receive your increase. Hebrews 10. Remember when God asked you to do something? He's ready to do something for you. Yes. Y'all remember that? Yes. So now this week when God asked him, you're going to say yes, right? Yes. Uh, see, it's going to be different. The last week he asked, you said no. He said, baby, when I get it. When it get better. Don't we do that? He said, no, right there where you're at. Because right there where you're at is where he wants to increase you. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? In Hebrews 10 and verse 6. And I'm closing. Let's go up to 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. 
or your faith or your trust in him. Because it will have a great recompense of the world. Great recompense of the world. But listen, listen. But you have need of patience. That after you have done the will of God, that you may receive the promises. In the Amplified, it says this. It says, uh, do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence, for it carries a great and a glorious compensation of reward. For you have need of steadfast patience. What is steadfast? That means I got to trust him. Right? And he's saying, if you trust me, you're going to get a reward. Oh, wait a minute, let me read it for you. Steadfast patience and endurance. So that you, listen, that you may perform and fully accomplish the will of God. And thus now you can receive it, you can carry it away, and enjoy it to the full the promise that God has said to you. Isn't that amazing? He said if you trust me, you can receive it, you can carry it away, and enjoy it. Sometimes we receive it, but we never get a chance to carry it away. Am I right? Have y'all ever got your blessing and never made it home with it? Right. right? By faith I got it, but I never got it. He said you can receive it, you can carry it away, and sign it. He said, I want you to fully enjoy the full promise. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I want to give you the whole thing. I don't want you just to receive it. I want you to carry it home, and I want you to fully enjoy it. Is anybody ready to fully enjoy yes. the blessing of the Father? Yes. Now, guess what that's going to have to be, though? You have to know him like that. Yes. You will have to know that you know that you know that you know that you know. And you're going to have to keep on knowing and know. And no, and no, how much longer? No, until your no becomes I know. Yes. And then your no pulls in who you know. Yes. So I've got to learn to trust the Father. Yes. All the way through. It's not going to be what you can see. That's going to mess you up. Y'all got that, right? Right, right? It's not going to be what you can feel. Because you know your feelings will mess you up, right? Right, right? Anybody felt a certain way and got messed up? Oh, yeah. I feel like I love you. Then you get me mad, I don't love you no more. 